Greetings, Captain. I'm ready to assist you. I've been waiting to inform you of a new situation. We are being bathed in a broad-beam hyperwave transmission from the direction of the Rigel star system. Due to the broadcast wide dispersion, we cannot discern its content.
Excellent work, Captain. The analysis reads as follows. Subject, clear spindle device. Data, the object in question has no clear use or means of activation, but does have superconductive characteristics between 18 and 22 degrees centigrade. We suspect that it is of precursor manufacture, but we cannot be certain without extended study. Summary, in all likelihood, this object is part of a larger device whose capabilities remain unknown. That's the end of our scientist's report. Return soon, Captain. Attention, Starship. We are the Stockpot Pit. Make no hostile actions. We come in peace and with goodwill. But if you make one false move, you're vapor. Don't worry. My companion is just a bit nervous. No, I'm not. And argumentative. No, I'm not. We are a scout vessel dispatched from our home world. We have traveled far through hostile, uncharted space to find you. We hail from the Green Dwarf Star at coordinate there far. Turn up! Aha! Pahoy hoy! No, you idiot! In their coordinate system. Oh, uh, <clears throat> coordinates 400.0 by 543.7. He is. No, she is. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Christ, we've been through this a million times. That doesn't change anything. You're the fox. <laughs> well, Captain, as you can see, this is a point of some contention. Fox! Hooray! That we finally found our saviors. Maybe. At last, our search is over. It is just as the Great Crystal Ones promised. They look sneaky. I think they're lying. Quiet, fool. Can't you see our nightmare is over? This ship is from the Great Crystal Ones' fabled alliance. The alliance of three stars. Maybe. Our planets are under attack from an invading horde. We do not know who they are or why they are here. We are being blown to bits. Fleets of alien ships appear out of nowhere, then unleash terrible destructive energy. Fortunately, they release these energies on each other. Unfortunately, they favor combat near strong gravity wells. Their stray shots regularly strike the surface of our planet, often with 
project resolves. Fortunately, they have never found our homeworld, only our colony planet. Unfortunately, all of our colonies have perished as a consequence. In our ancient past, four species evolved intelligence on our homeworld. Simultaneously. They were the Zark, the Fox, the Pit, and the Zabranky. We three, the Zark, Fox, and Pit, evolved in such a way as to acquire sustenance from many sources. From airborne dull plankton, from solar and ambient energy, and from rocky fungal clingers. Our favorite. The Zabranky also consumed a variety of foods, namely the Zark, the Fox, and the Pit. To survive the predations of the Zabranki, we banded together, annihilated the Zabranki, and formed the cooperative union you now encounter. We are a relatively peaceful group of species. Unless we're angry. So, we find ourselves in need of help. We only need a little. Because of our desperate situation. Desperate is too strong a word. I think troublesome is more like it. Some of the vessels are huge green battleships which launch wave after wave of small fighters. The other ships are black as space and their hulls are carved with strange alien writing. In combat, the two ships seem evenly matched. One fires blasts of fusion energy while the other launches spinning projectiles. These are the words we have prayed for. Hey, this trip's not a waste after all. More than anything, we seek an ally to help us survive in this hostile universe. We're having some problems of that general nature. But we are only emissaries. You must meet with our leaders. They are wiser, more powerful beings. They look just like us, though. Fly to the star called Alpha Tukane. The planet closest to the sun is our home. And if possible, hurry!